All right, I know it's been a few months since uh, you've seen a War and Order video, and a lot's happened. Um, I did take a short break, but I've been back for a majority. I just haven't had time to record anything like that. So I've got a couple things I want to cover. What realm it is, the top alliances, elite war, and everything else like that, right? We did have elite war against PKS, the Psycho Killers. Um, pretty well-known uh, alliance. Um, but first, we'll check out the realm. The realm is still 1425. We went through two mergers, and 1425 has kept the whole thing. Uh, the whole realm number. Uh, obviously, um, NGM, AMP, AKS. Well, ask. Um, so Sun was one of the alliances that were merged with... Uh, that were merged whenever the realm merged a couple months ago um and imp and really wanted everyone to go against sun um and imp has darkness in case we're not tracking right uh this guy who has been at 160 million bp three times since the merge and keeps losing it uh because he keeps trying to attack us um Anyways, this is the Alliance Power Ranking, right? So Sun and AKT merged, uh, ended up becoming number one in uh, Battle Power, number one in Kills right now. Uh, Imp was number three. NGM uh, keeps getting hit because uh, they want to side with Imp, and then they have a weird little, little relationship going right now. Um, don't know exactly what it is, but they're working together a lot, and they're joining each other for crowns. Well, not joining, I shouldn't say. They have onesies and twosies helping out, and then uh, Darkness joined uh, NGM the other day to help them defend from us attacking them. Uh, but yeah, we'll go over the Alliance kill rankings too real quick. You can see the massive amount of difference it is uh, between the Alliances. Uh, Lord Castle ranking, uh, Sab just got uh, C40, 50 Shades of Sab, congrats to him. Uh, I'm pretty sure Sammy's going to get C40 pretty soon. Uh, I'm still at 38, all the way down here on the list. There's a lot of uh, big people here in this realm. Pretty nice, honestly. Alright, uh, let's go over some reports inside World Chat real quick. Haven't watched this one yet. That's a pretty good report. Let's watch this. This is on NGM. Not bad. This guy did get zeroed. Uh, I saw his... Someone shared his cords and I looked at it and he was down to 4 mil BP. Or something like that. Yeah. Squalix is uh, one of the other people. Yeah, this guy right here. 4.4. Squalix is one of the other people inside the... Uh, Alliance. He was R5 of Sun. All right, but now let's get into the rankings. All right, we already beat uh, Catzilla the other day. Well, last week, I should say. We'll get another elite war against them. It'll be fun. Um, this elite war uh, was pretty good. We won it against PKS. We had 75 uh, ask people, and then they had 67 uh, PKS. We'll video replay this. If it would load, we're not going to watch it uh, slow. I'll kind of go over exactly what happened. So we speed up. We get to three. We get to seven. We're like, okay, cool. We'll march on seven. Uh, we have two different, three different groups. Um, they got to start marching. Uh, I'm with Gone top flank. We get to hit their base. They have people speed back because they saw that we were flanking. Um, we lost both the battles. Um, this was one on time. It wasn't one on victory. Um, because after this battle that's about to be coming up, uh, they sit in their base. And basically, they send out onesies and twosies to attack. But they sit in their base for literally like 30 minutes. Um, waiting to try to come out in full force. It did get close to the end as far as like people running out of hills mm -hmm. and stuff. But, uh, there was nowhere close, uh, whenever it comes to the towers. I think we won 9-4 to four 
honestly. It wasn't even more close. Yeah, after we won that, they just sat in their base. And you see we set up here. Um, we just set up, posted, waiting for them. Wish you could speed this up even more, because honestly, it probably doesn't even need to be this long of a video for this part. Down to 15% battery. Amazing. I wish I would have recorded this live. I wasn't able to. I was at work. And you would have heard other people. And I honestly was too busy to uh, even try to record it. Oh, they just sitting here, post it up, and these guys sit here. They send out, like I said, onesies and twosies to attack. They try to get that end over there. Uh, we reinforce it. They get that in. You know, there's a there's a bunch of stuff happening. Uh, we decide, all right, maybe they'll come out um, and take eleven. If we give them eleven, basically, we'll just leave some there. And we'll post back up at seven. And uh, main thing is just holding uh, six, seven, and eight uh, for the win. Because uh, if you hold those, you got to win. Gone was speeding. Everyone was speeding. Uh, Clink, Clink was a great commander. He commands the main force. Um, this elite war was great. Afterwards, we did the EA. It was nice, uh, precise. I was just really happy with the activity from both mm -hmm. alliances. We had, uh, I'll have to look at that later. It's one of my soldiers. Um, we had 75. Um, PKS had 67 again. Great activity from both alliances, honestly. Uh, Gons hitting their base again. Uh, just to keep those uh, frontline troops dead. The reason they were sitting in the base and we couldn't attack them, uh, just in case anyone in the comments wants to say, wow, you guys are just sitting there camping them out. They had 16.6 .6 million troops uh, compared to the people that were actively fighting. Mm -hmm. I think the actively fighting uh, people, we uh, had like 62 um, so we had, I think, like 14 million, so we were in a real, real, real close battle, and if we would have lost, uh, people were already running low on hills anyways, you know, so there's really no point. The last 10 minutes here, really the last 5 minutes, uh, Night King, uh, pretty strong, uh, C40, uh, started going off and kept trying to speed in, and like, he had people coordinate with him, obviously, to block off Gon and Squalix from, uh, being able to reinforce against him. Um, but then it came to a point where he was just healing all of his army every single time because he would just lose the battles back to back to back and then he started winning them. Um, if Gon or Squalix or some, if there weren't a lot of like tier 12 and there, um, he was. I think he was just going for overall points win um, for the individual. Um, but yeah. Like, you see, like, the last 10 minutes, a lot more people were coming in and out of uh, their base. We're like, alright, this is going to be fun. Uh, at some point, Night King did something tricky. Gon had sped all the way up the 13, and Night King slow marched there. And then recalled right as soon as he saw uh, Night King come in. And, and then Night King came down here and sped down to the bottom, if you saw that. Like, he instantly recalled and then sped down to 9. And was trying to get through. Uh, he comes down here. We hold him off here. Uh, we're like, man, that was close. You know. Um, hold him off here, too. Over here, too. There's a lot of them. Uh, down here. I was like, alright, Night King started coming in. We're like, man, you see all these moving pieces now? I was like, man, Night King came in. Boom. We had to fucking tap that up. We're like, we really need this. I was like, as long as we can keep him in battle, we win it. They send in. I speed in, I'm like, alright, cool, as long as we can hold them here for another 30 seconds, we'll be easy dub, right, 8-5 to five right now, and we won 8-5. It was a great battle, a uh, very active alliance that we faced, and I'm happy with Ask and uh, the leadership that we have here. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. See you guys in the next one. Bye.